send it, fax, rename it, touch it, bring it, pay it, watch it, turn it, leave it, stop, format it. Well, hello, dear viewer. Welcome to episode 42 of the Daily Decrypt, independent member of the LTB Network. I am your host, Amanda, and today's episode is brought to you by BNC Exchange. I stumbled upon this interesting crypto blog today by a man named Nicholas Schobinger, and I learned about a blockchain services company that I had never heard of before called ThingChain. And ThingChain is used to record the provenance of items as they pass through supply chains. So it starts with a QR code, which ThingChain calls a pop code for something like, for example, a bunch of grapes. And then as those grapes move through the supply chain, through processing and bottling, and finally end up on store shelves as a bottle of wine, the consumer can then scan that pop code and get verification of everywhere the product they are considering buying has been. And just some initial applications for something that I know I would appreciate as a consumer is stuff that's labeled like organic or like non-GMO or like handmade by a kind old lady in Thailand. Like there's really no way of verifying those kinds of claims at this point. And so a service like ThingChain I think could be very useful in making manufacturers claims verifiable. And the company ThingChain is actively seeking new clients to try out their services. Today is apparently Giving Tuesday. I learned this just this morning. The Tuesday after Thanksgiving is called Giving Tuesday. And Change Tip is looking to get in on the action by rewarding users who tip one another on social media using Change Tip if they use the hashtag grateful for you. Change Tip works on Twitter, Reddit, Discuss, actually, uh, SoundCloud even, and a host of other platforms that I don't even use. And you can see the grateful for you hashtag already in use here today. And Change Tips giveaways will end at midnight Eastern Standard Time tonight. I'm not entirely sure what the rewards are or how many there are. I don't know if it's two ponies or 10 trips to Jamaica or just a nice thank you email. I don't know what it is exactly. I just like hopping on fun bandwagons when I see them. Denis Gorbachev and Alexander Guzmenko are a couple of smart programmers who have today released a paper called Fair Arbitration for Smart Contracts. The arbitration system is designed to function as a sidechain on Bitcoin. They propose an arbitration system which does not rely on reputation. As these programmers argue, just because someone has acted a certain way in the past does not necessarily mean that they will in the future, especially in the internet world where nobody actually knows who anybody else is. And so the paper outlines a process in which arbiters would instead be economically incentivized because they would have to buy like voting rights and then like compete with one another for voting rights. I don't honestly, I did not understand it completely, which is why I don't write papers like this for a living. But Dennis and Alexander do, and they're looking for someone who's an expert in game theory. So if you are an expert in game theory and looking to join on to a new product, email them today. The link is in the description. Today, Dash has released their monthly budget proposal for those vested in Dash to vote upon. And maybe this sounds kind of strange, like what? Who votes in cryptocurrency? What's that? Well, as you may or may not know, Dash sets aside 10% of its block reward to fund internal development and pay for projects. And this is a unique and neat funding model because all coins which are not completely pre-mined are currently inflationary, right? Like there's a constant increase in the money supply. And so the Dash people figured, okay, if we're going to be inflationary, like why not use a portion of that inflation to make it so we don't have to depend on a foundation to pay for development? So I'd invite you to check out some of the projects and events that they managed to get funded through their decentralized governance system. And Bitcoin is getting its first action movie. Yes, I am serious. There is a Vietnamese film company called BHD Movies, and they have released this trailer of an upcoming movie aptly named Bitcoin Heist to be released in 2016.
Today's episode has been brought to you by BNC Exchange, which upon launch will be decentralized and based on reputation. Ownership of the exchange is currently publicly available through crypto equity tokens called block shares, and block shares will pay dividends in bitcoins based upon revenues generated from the exchange. Learn more at bcexchange.org. Happy Giving Tuesday. Yeah. Take yeah. Yeah. Take 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 yeah.